Uh, hi, I'm Tapis Santra. I'm a computer scientist and I work in Systems Biology Ireland in University College Dublin. Uh, I'll talk about treating cancer using computer science. So when a patient goes to visit a cancer clinic, the doctors usually recommend a series of tests and scans, and then they determine treatment based on these tests and scans. But sometimes the treatment fails and the cancer comes back. So we need a better way of determining treatment for cancer patient. One way is to look inside the tumor and uh, see what's there. So the tumor tissues, like any other tissues, are made of little building blocks, which are, uh, we call them cells. So these are living, breathing things that have thousands and thousands of components inside them. And using some modern machines, you can measure the quantity and the composition of each of these components inside these little building blocks of tumors. However, so even though this provides a very detailed information about what's inside the tumor, it provides too much information for uh, processing manually. So what I do is I develop softwares, computer softwares, which analyzes uh, this kind of data from healthy and tumor tissues, compares them, and then figure out which components are damaged or present in wrong quantity in the tumor tissues compared to the healthy tissues, and use this information to predict uh, treatment. So to see whether this kind of approach will actually work for designing treatment for cancer patients, we uh, use this software to compare this kind of detailed readings from tumors uh, which, which were taken from a group of breast cancer patients, some of whom responded to this drug called Herceptin and some of whom didn't. And the software compared the data from these two different groups of patients and predicted that the patients who typically do not respond to Herceptin may respond to Herceptin if they take high doses of vitamin D in addition to the treatment. This is a very exciting finding. It's because if it's true, it tells us two things. One, it provides a cheap and painless way of extending lives and reducing treatment cost. And two, we can use these kind of approaches to overcome drug resistance, which is a very difficult problem in cancer treatment. To see if these predictions were uh, correct, we did some laboratory tests, and in those tests, the predictions were validated. But before we can implement this in the clinic, we need to have these predictions confirmed by other scientists independently and need to go through some clinical trial. However, sometimes it's not enough to know which components are damaged in your tumor or which components are in too much or too little quantity in your tumor. You also need to know how these components interact with each other to make these building blocks of tumor lead, living, breathing things. Just like the components of a fancy watch, which interact with each other to make the watch tick. The process of understanding the design principles of a machine is called reverse engineering. So I'll try to explain how we reverse engineer cancer cells using a much simpler system of few gears which are connected to each other. Now, in this system, if you turn the top lever, the gears move. Let's say you don't know how these gears are connected to each other. You want to find that out, but you can't just look at it and tell. So what you do is you remove one gear and then measure which of these gears stops moving. The ones that stops moving are the one that's connected to the one that you removed. So if you keep doing this with each of these gears, you can figure out how these gears are connected to each other. This gives you the blueprint of the machine, and you can use the blueprint to build a computer model of the system, and you can use the computer model to figure out ways of repairing the system if you have damage in the system. Now, if you have some damaged components in the system. So we use this approach to build, a, uh, to reverse engineer a very aggressive form of drug resistant strain of colon cancer. So we build a computer model. Yeah. Uh, we built a computer model of uh, a small part of the building block of this particular colon cancer, which had some damaged components in it. And using the model, we predicted that the combination of these two medicines will be effective in treating this particular type of colon cancer. So then we performed rigorous biological experiments in our labs, which validated this prediction. And this provides a proof of concept that you can 
identify treatment for very hard to treat cancer by reverse engineering the building blocks of tumor. So my long-term goal is to develop a software platform which takes all possible types of data that you can generate from a patient using modern technology, analyze this data and predict optimal treatment options for patients. I'd like to thank everyone who was involved in this work and thank you all for listening.